in the world is only 45% male. And 51% of births are female. Despite all of China's culling of women, mammals have more female offspring than they have male. Because the truth is, if you get into the genetics, the male is just basically like a warrior model of a female without a uterus. Bigger bones, more aggressive. And then the female basically is the species. So uh, you guys are true jackasses uh, when it comes to uh, these attempts to dehumanize your, yourselves. You attack men, you attack yourself. Men attack women, you attack yourself. And I have no guilt. I will not be part of this mental illness. I've done nothing to women but empower them and take care of them and, and work with them. And I enjoy taking care of women. I enjoy being sweet to women. I enjoy empowering women. And they like empowering me. And that's the kind of women I want in my life. Not the parasitic, twisted, sociopathic, psychopathic types that think it's okay. Most criminals have a rationale. When the Aryan nations or, or other groups have been out caught engaged in criminal activity, they always have an excuse how they were doing. Or when black gangs or Hispanic gangs, you know, go out and, you know, kill somebody of another so-called race, it's because, well, they deserved it. And that's all the feminist are, is a criminal gang. Paul Watson calls it third-wave feminism. Look, it's feminism. Feminism was started to look legitimate, to empower women on the surface. It was never meant to do that. Eber Bernays wrote about that in the 20s one of the pioneers of it. It was meant to shackle women and enslave them to the state, and it's been done. That's a fact. So it isn't, and I'm not just disagreeing with Watson here. You know, Watson puts out articles I disagree with. He puts out ideas and, you know, things that I don't agree with. He thinks something isn't a hoax. I think it is a hoax. Paul's really smart. But I want to explain something. If I openly say I disagree with something one of my writers wrote, or I disagree with one of the nuances on air, it's not a, a diss or under the bus statement. Uh, it's not a unified cult up here at Infowars.com where it's my way or the highway and everyone has to totally agree with me because my views change day to day as I get more information. But it's the mere fact that people are even uncomfortable openly debating someone else or think that if I disagree with something that, say, Kurt Nemo has written, that then I somehow am attacking him. That's not the case. We're not a cult. We love liberty. We love freedom. We love truth. We love justice. We love not having a nuclear war. We love prosperity. We love common sense. That's who I hire. Smart people that love common sense and recognize monsters when they see them who sit up there lecturing us like they're God. Bossy control freaks that are so bossy, they had the first lady come out last year and say, don't use the word bossy because it refers to women. Well, yeah, there is an archetype of the bossy control freak out of control woman. Just like there's an archetype of the bossy, out-of-control, control freak male. But all these are is wannabe dominant women that don't dominate with their beauty or their art or their love or their compassion or with their hard work. They dominate henpecking men and other women into saying they're the boss. Well, guess what, Hillary? You ain't the boss. Guess what, uh, Michelle? You're not my boss. You're criminal scum parasites that want to sell women on hating their sons. You're sick freak filth. How dare you try to break up the human community? It's anti-humanism. It's anti-familyism. Whatever word you want to use it, it's psychic death. Joining us is Kit Daniels to talk about his article. Kit, uh, I aborted my baby because it was a boy is the headline. Uh, and they're very proud of themselves hailing this. They're there to push the Overton window. They're there to condition us to accept anything. And I guess we will. If they say it's liberal, we'll put a 25-year-old soldier or sailor on a death list to not give them treatment for kidney failure. And yeah. I guess if it's a boy, it's okay, Kit. Yeah, uh, throughout history, tyrants have attempted to dehumanize the population in order to replace God with the state. And that's why we see this destruction of our rights, because if they can treat us like slaves, then the tyrants, the politicians, they can see themselves as gods. That's why we see the destruction of the Bill of Rights right now, the destruction of the family, the destruction of uh, prosperity, so on and so forth. And also, you mentioned earlier about the Aztec Empire. It made me, made me it reminded me of the fact that the uh, Spanish Empire was able to take over these ancient empires in Central and South America. Because they'd wiped out all their men. Yeah, that, and also they used divide and conquer tactics. 
which is exactly what the establishment has done with the feminist movement ever since the 1960s with Gloria Steinem and so on and so forth. That's right. Uh, what was it? Less than 400 conquistadors were able to conquer over a million people in just in one valley. Yeah, I think it was even less than that in certain instances. I think there's only like 30 or 40 men taking over thousands of, uh, of tribes just because they're playing off rivals each other. And that's, this is basically common Machiavelli statecraft. We saw the Byzantine Empire do that. That's why they survived for a thousand years because they were playing off their rivals within the neighboring uh, principalities off each other. That's just a common And they technique. do it to us, and they write books about how they're doing it to us because they think we're so stupid, kid. Yeah, because people, unfortunately, people don't understand history. They're using the same strategies over and over again they've used for thousands of years. And this, even today with the feminist movement, they're using this divide and conquer. They're pitting women against men through feminism. And the women that are into this really think they're not getting ahead because of men. It's like people uh, like Bill Maher that says, I'm for death, I'm for mass death, I want to get the highway moving, but ban guns because they kill children. No, ban guns because he wants a monopoly of power. That's what the heavily armed establishment with all their bodyguards wants. But when they say clear off the highways, you move to a city because it's teeming and there's a lot of jobs. It's like a coral reef. I've used this analogy many times. You might be out in the ocean and go 10 miles before you run along a coral reef off an island, everything else is basically dead out there. There's not a lot of life until you hit that coral reef. Now, when you hit a coral reef, you'd think, my gosh, it's overpopulated. Well, no, the population being high is what shows you that there's a density of life that it's healthy. And so humans say, I don't like lines. It's like a, you know, a really good restaurant it's hard to get into. It's because it's a really good restaurant. I mean, go out and live in a ghost town. Go out and live in the middle of nowhere, and then you'll be moving back really quick. But it's these same people that are sitting in the midst of a civilization saying they hate the very civilization that allowed them to develop, and they have all these opportunities, but instead they're spoiled brats that are so greedy that at a fundamental level they think killing people, old ladies, veterans, children, will get them ahead because then they'll get a bigger piece of the pie. They don't get the fact we could build this pie to infinity if we weren't letting the global social engineers suppress the true new technologies that we know have been developed. We're being put into a new dark age where only a tiny elite will have access to all of this incredible technology, not just life extension. But nanotech, the list, I mean, it's incredible, but they won't let us have it because they want to go ahead and set up the world government, cull our numbers, dumb us down who's left to basically toy with us. It, it, it's such a sick plan. Talk about what this feminist uh, breaks down in her story that's being hailed by liberals. It's just ambrosia. I mean, it comes down to let's kill men. Men are fundamentally bad. Men are the problem. This is the sick cult we're dealing with. Well, yeah, she's... Uh Broadcasting this kind of group mentality of us versus them, this is exactly what the establishment wants because they only gain power through groups because they can control groups. They can't control individuals. So in order to, uh, to have a power structure, they put, they put people in different groups and have the groups fight among each other. And they also put their own leaders in charge of the groups, you know, like Al Sharpton, for example. So it's just this whole uh, collectivism can only be strengthened it can only exist through group mentality that's unfortunately what we're seeing now now i want to try to invite this witch on the broadcast uh, let's go over some of this article over the past three years i've lost many friends and several of my own family members have completely cut off communication with me i know now that these are adults close quote who are who cannot handle the fact that i have the right to make choices and these choices ultimately hardly ever affect them she goes on to talk about killing her her son can you imagine how unhappy and sick this person is and how they're going to feel later when they finally wake up? But see, the problem is once you make evil decisions like this, a lot of cowards, Kit, keep doubling down saying it's right and the right way to go. I mean, who in their right mind could say, I killed my baby because it was a boy? You know, in all honesty, when I read the article, I was thinking to myself, there's a possibility that she knows she did wrong, but she now she's trying to rationalize it by saying, oh, well, this is good for the feminist movement. You know, this is empowering it made me feel stronger and by avoiding my baby it brought out all the hate against feminism in general and this is how future feminists should have to deal with it so it's really sickening that notice she says though it made her stronger just like when a satanist guts a baby they say it gives them power i mean she is getting power from this it takes a lot of will to consciously say this is a boy this is my son and i'm gonna cap his ass excuse my french i mean this is hardcore
My body, my body's betrayal was no more. I was free. I felt strong is her disgusting quote. You know, I've read a lot of articles about people who uh, they can't understand. They can't grasp the establishment, of the New World Order, so on and so forth, because they have uh, people like you and me. We have a moral compass. So how can we possibly see transnational uh, elites, how they operate and how they don't care about humanity when we, you and me don't even have that kind of reference point? And unfortunately, I, I think this lady is just like a tyrant because she also doesn't have a moral compass. Oh, she is a tyrant. She had yeah. something weak and defenseless that was literally part of her soul, and then she murdered it and smashed it because it made her feel powerful. She is a demon. Yeah, and I hope that people, they look at this article, and they what they take from it is the fact that this attitude that she's showing, this complete disregard for human life and for humanity, is what the most powerful people in the world or also share. And, and that's exactly right. Exactly how they operate. And that's totally key. Thank you, Kit Daniels. Your article's on Infowars.com. I know you're going to add some links to it, to the journals of uh, bioethics and others promoting similar things. Just so people know, this is not just some aberration. Uh, this is the larger plan. We should also post that Soylent Green piece that uh, Darren McBreen did uh, in the article as well. Thank you so much, Kit Daniels. What he said is what this whole hour has been about. The people saying they want to take your rights because they love you. The people saying they want you defenseless because they love you. The people that say your kids belong to the state because they love you are control freaks that want you dead. Because for demons, these people, whatever you want to call them, the ultimate act is to kill another human and to have them defenseless under their power. That's what psychopaths do. And they have artificially created a lot of mentally ill people who've grown up artificially in this modern world and have no connection to reality and just follow the tenets of the anti-woman, anti-man, anti-human, anti-life Satanism that is the CIA, New World Order created feminism. And it's all declassified. Look it up for yourself. It is the ultimate way to bring down humanity. Uh, speaking of bringing humanity together, spread the word about this broadcast. We're hardcore. We're unabashed. We do not apologize uh, about telling the truth. We are hardcore. And we have the best nutraceuticals available, bar none, in the month of February. We have Human Empowerment Month for men and women, super male and super female vitality. Take a couple of uh, droppers of it under the tongue each day. It has concentrated super herbs and fruit extracts and other herbal extracts uh, that will just blow you away. Uh, it is my ambrosia. It, it, it is, I, I am fueled by it. It's all natural, super male and super female vitality, already discounted. Well, then it's another 20% off in the month of February. Infowarslife.com in the month of February, Human Empowerment Month, take the InfoWarsLife.com challenge. Take the super male, super female vitality. The super female, really, the women really love it. Uh, and so give a bottle of it to your wife, or to your fiance. Give a bottle to your husband. Give a bottle to your boyfriend. Uh, it's just amazing. And it is the purest, strongest. Uh, other similar formulas are about three times as much, twice as much. But when we discount it like this, some of them are three times as much. This is a true nutraceutical. We have two bottles of X2 Nation Iodine. Get a free bottle of Ancient Defense Herbal uh, Immunity Booster as well. A lot of other specials at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And your orders fund this operation. So I salute all of you that are supporters. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. 
When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 